everyone, welcome to Speak English with Rachel. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that when I have new uploaded videos, you will get notified. Today, I am going to share with you an interesting topic about how do you feel? How are you feeling today? I am good, thanks. No, how are you really? I am. At times, both English speakers and language learners can find it difficult to answer such a simple question or can you describe your feelings and emotions in English? In this method, I will help you express all kinds of feelings in English that way the next time someone asks you how are you feeling, you will be able to answer it. The first is when you are in a good or positive mood is glad. Rose was glad when she found out that she had passed her English exam. To feel glad means you are feeling joyful, delighted, or pleased. The second positive mood is content. She is content living in her hometown because her family and friend live there too. To feel content means that you are satisfied or happy of how things are and you don't need anything more. The fourth positive mood is she was excited to see her parents after for being apart for over 10 years. Excited meaning that to be excited about something is to really look forward to it with joy. Fifth positive mood is when I was recovering from the hospital, the kind wishes from my friends and family made me feel loved. Loved. You feel loved when you know someone cares for you and wants the best for you. Now, I will give you words when you are feeling down or you are in a bad mood. The first word is sad. She was sad when she heard that her best friend was moving out of the town. When something bad or unfortunate happens in your life, you will probably feel sad or unhappy. Another word is depressed. After her husband's death, Joan was depressed for years. Depressed means that you feel very sad or extreme sadness. Let's proceed to another word which is hurt. She was very hurt when her parents forgot her birthday, meaning that hurt is when you bad and are in pain either mentally or physically. Another word when you're sad or in a bad mood is angry. You might become angry when something does not go your way or someone does something mean or wrong toward you. She is really angry at me for upsetting her younger sister. Another common feeling is scared. She was scared to swim in the lake after she saw a big snake near the water. To feel scared is to be full of fear and worry. Okay, after hearing the bad news, I was feeling down. Feeling down is an idiomatic way of saying that you are sad. Or another example is Dana felt very guilty for shouting at the shopkeeper, meaning that likely feel guilty if you have done something wrong, such as making someone else feel bad. Last feeling or emotion if you know that feeling when you do not know right from wrong or everything appears unclear and uncertain and you don't not uh, you don't know what to do that is called being confused the topic was very challenging and the professor's lesson confused me 
even more. Okay, so if you really like this kind of method, please don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching my videos.